Good morning, you guys. It is like 9 a.m. right now, and we are about to head to work. This is gonna be my first vlog, and I'm super, super excited. Um, we have a lot, a lot going on, so I'm hoping I can get a really good salon vlog for you guys um, and kind of showcase everything that we're doing today. Um, the salon itself won't be too, too busy. I am missing one of my stylists today. Um, it is a Wednesday, so it's gonna be kind of like medium to slow pace at least in the morning um afternoon it'll get busier but i am completely booked out and overwhelmed i double booked myself towards the end of the day so i'm super excited for that not really but that's okay i think we have some i think we're doing like a root touch up some color um highlights I think a bleach in tone, possibly. Um, I can't remember if my client wanted a bleach in tone or she just wanted to refresh her pink. My hair is all kinds of frizzed out today. Um, Texas has been crazy humid. I don't know what it is, um, but it's just been super crazy humid and I've done Brazilian blowouts and everything you can do to your hair, but my hair is naturally curly, so we do what we can do. But I am, I have 30 minutes to get to work. I only live like seven minutes away. So I'm going to do a Starbucks run. Not sure what I'm going to get yet. Part of me thinks refresher. Part of me thinks coffee. Um, but then I'm like, I've already had a cup of coffee. So maybe something to hydrate myself because I probably won't really have time for a break. My car is filled with junk right now. And every time I move, I just, I hear something and it, it's very distracting. Um, so we will go to Starbucks and we will see what we're going to get today. So, okay guys, I'm at Starbucks. Super embarrassing on my end. I was jamming the country music. Totally forgot that I was supposed to go to Starbucks and had to cut across four lanes and people probably were like, what is wrong with her? And then they see me zipping to the Starbucks line and they're probably like, um, it's not that serious. And it's not, but <laughs> it's whatever. Okay, so I'm really hungry so I think I'm gonna get egg white bites maybe good morning what can I get started for you today hi good morning um can I please get egg white bites and then um can I get the kiwi star fruit and a grande yeah Grande Q starfruit. Are you wanting the one with made with water, lemonade, or coconut milk? Water. Water. Anything else for you today? That's it. It'll be 9.31 at the window. Okay, thank you. I've only tried the kiwi whatever star drink like one time. And I was a cross between liking it and not liking it. And I don't know why. I, was, I, I don't know. It's like green. So it's like kind of cool looking. So I'm just compelled to get that. But in my head, I was like, get a water. But then I'm like, I have water at the salon. So like, if I need water, I can get a water. So I don't know. I'm kind of all over the place this morning. I think it's like menstrual cycle. I'm going kind of crazy right now. Um, so can't really decide. Part of me was like, get a blueberry muffin. But then I'm like, no because you need to eat healthy this week because you've had Domino's, which is right next time to the salon. I have Domino's pizza and I eat Domino's every freaking day. Like every single day I eat Domino's. So I'm like, no Domino's for today, please. What was I gonna say? So for today, I kind of looked at the schedule. I have one of my clients on for extensions, but we removed her extension. So I, I don't know why that's down. Um, hopefully, she puts a deposit down for extensions and then I know my other client she just put her deposit down for her extensions but we're gonna do her highlights and then we're gonna color match her today and then her extensions are for next week um and then I think I'm doing a copper color today you guys um if I'm not mistaken I, I honestly don't know what all I have thrown in my books I think I just kind of did everything I don't know I I'm honestly stressed out. I, like, I look at it, and I'm just like, everybody has a lot. Like, my first client doesn't have that much hair, but, like, one of my clients, she has so much hair. Like, we did a full color correction, and I think she's going to need a bleach and tone, and I think she's also going to need an all of her color. Um, so, I'm just kind of, like, trying to plan the day out in my head. That's usually what I do is I'll sit in the parking lot. I'm like, what are we doing today? How can I plan this out? 
all that kind of stuff so oh and i'm gonna give you all maybe like a quick little salon tour if i have time it's like 9 40 right now so is this recording okay I, I didn't know if the audio was recording correctly because i have my aux cord plugged in and it's like going to my car so i'm really curious how that's gonna sound so we'll see um but yeah maybe i'll give you all a quick salon tour and we can kind of go from there um i don't know Okay, you guys, so I got my Starbies. Look how cute. Isn't this, like, I'm like, it's so appealing. It's green, like, but it's like a pretty green. Um, so I'm like, I just want to get this just for looks. I don't know if it's really for flavor or what. Um, yeah, so I'm, I guess I'm 20 minutes early today. Oh my God, it tastes like perfume. <laughs> that was really, really, really bad. <laughs> Oh, and it's sour. Mm -mm. Bad decision on my end. I think it'll be fine if I water it down. You know, I asked for it to be made of water. So I'm curious what it would have tasted like with anything else. That is that is really, really bad, you guys. Um, comment down below if that's like a drink you've tried and if you liked it or not. I mean, I don't know. I always need Starbucks suggestions. So if y'all have like a favorite Starbucks drink, please let me know. I would love to hear it um because i honestly never know what to order at starbucks i'm like what what are we getting what are you know i kind of sometimes I even let them choose i'm like what do you think would be good i guess i don't know um that was really bad but i paid for it so i'm either gonna drink it or pass it on to my sister who's my front desk receptionist i want to kind of see what that i'm really excited um i got the salon detail clean the other day so i'm actually like proud to show y'all this salon oh people are already in here 20 minutes early crazy crazy y'all here let me go ahead and turn the thing around okay so we're at work like i said domino's is directly next door so we eat that every day somebody's already in the salon it is 9 44 so we are we open at 10 so super early um but yeah let's go in and take a look good morning <laughs> I'm doing a video vlog today. A video vlog? Yeah, so why don't you tell tell who you are and what we do. Hi, I am her sister, the receptionist. <laughs> <laughs> you can even give your name. <laughs> My name is Sydney and I answer the phone. And she answers the phone. Okay, so as you can see, we have like full Amika products, shorts cough. We're kind of low in stock right now, um, but we keep extras all down here. And then we also have Rusk, which is a favorite, and some Brazilian Blowout and Oilplex. Um, Cindy, can we actually organize the shelf a little bit better? And then we have a full coffee bar equipped with champagne, wine, water, and we usually have Coke and Diet Coke, but I guess we're out. And then snacks if needed. Um, we do, like, if people want to bring brochures to kind of promote their business, we allow that too. And yeah, so I'm here before everybody nobody's here yet right no. okay so i'm here before everybody ignore my crocs so this is kind of like our waiting area um and then we have a little dryer area um i don't know what this is doing here this is really bizarre we never set the pillows here again we had the salon detail cleaned so whoever did that probably didn't really know how to put the pillows but that's okay um and then this is my office room here is our shampoo room in our lash tech room break room is in here and then this is our esthetician room where we have all of our facials go down yes ma'am and then back there is just the bathroom so we are going to wait for everybody to get here like i said it's still we're 20 minutes early oh look how cool this mirror is you guys it lights up okay so we're gonna wait for everybody to get here and then we will start our vlog salon journey soon so this is my color consultation and extension consultation client my first client was actually scheduled wrong so we just jumped into client number two and we are going to go ahead and jump into client number three this is my um 
third client, you can tell, I know they were kind of similar because they both needed their roots done, but we're basically doing a bleach and tone and she wants to go copper, you guys. So super exciting. So we just came in and I think I used 20 volume short scoff blonde me. We tapped it right on the roots and I kind of let her wait until she lifted to like a level seven um, and did all of that good stuff and let her process. She honestly lifted so quick. I don't think I left the lightener on more than, I want to say like 20 minutes. She processed so quick, even though her roots are like honestly so, so, so dark, like borderline level three, four. She lifted crazy fast because of the heat from her scalp and the fact that it's virgin and all that good stuff. Um, but I'm really excited to show y'all the results for this. We started her... Gosh, what time did we start her? I want to say 1 o'clock, and we didn't finish her till 5. So this was a good, like, 4 or 5-hour transformation, um, and it was super fun to do. She obviously has tons and tons and tons of hair, like, hair for days. So um, I actually, at one point, had my um, another stylist come in and help me so we could tackle it a little bit quicker. But you can see her lifting. Like, the back lifted so, so, so quick, you guys. Um, and then the front, um, a little bit slower. I sectioned off the front because she wanted a money piece. And then here's our copper. Um, for the formula, we did 8-0 and 7-77 at the roots. And then 7-77 towards the ends with 9-7 shorts cough. And then we are going to jump into curling her. Um, honestly obsessed with this copper shade. I don't get to play with coppers very often, but for whatever reason this week, she's like my third copper client. I feel like once you do one fun color, like everybody comes out of the woodworks for no reason and they all want the same thing. So that's always really fun. I like to have different things on my feeds. Um, I really have been enjoying like the more vibrant colors because it just makes my Instagram profile pop. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, do that now, you guys. I have it linked in the bio down below. You can see how vibrant that copper is, you guys. That 7-77 by Schwarzkopf is to die for. We left a big, bold money piece in the front. And I was obsessed. Look at that. So proud. Literally like five hours of work. This is our second session. Um... I wish I had the first section. I do have the first session documented on my Instagram, but not for YouTube to see. But I was obsessed with a money piece and she was too, just in time before she had to go to work. And the blonde just pops, you guys. I was really happy because I wasn't going to bring the money piece all the way down to like the sides, kind of like where her sideburns are. But I'm so happy I did because I'm about to show you all the video. Look so gorgeous okay so this is our last client of the day um miss jill she wanted me to go ahead and do some color for her um and we have extensions booked for next week we did some fresh highlights a good partial highlight and that was really fun we toned her nice and beige and it was gorgeous all right guys so you know it's been a long day when your hair is like just kind of thrown up color all over the arms it was kind of crazy my first client um she actually scheduled for two days so um her schedule was messed up so i didn't really start work until 12 o'clock today so i kind of just went home and chilled with my dogs a little bit but then when i got back to the salon we did a what was supposed to just be a root touch-up turned into a root touch-up and all over color um along with like a money piece i think that service was around four hundred dollars um and then after her oh we well, okay so we had a consultation first and she is going to get um full color done so i'm really excited to see her for her color appointment and extensions so i think we price quoted her whole service her color was going to be around 300 um and then her extensions are going to be 850 so whatever 300 was 850 is and she is booked out for next tuesday which i'm really excited for and then I'll film that process for y'all because that's going to be a big transformation, you guys. I mean, you saw what was going on in that hair. And then, I'm sorry, guys. I'm driving all over the place. And then there was my copper girl. That was gorgeous. I was so happy. That was our second session. And we did a root touch up. Or, I'm sorry, like a bleach and tone. And then we went in with an all over color. I mean, I left her a really pretty money piece. Um, and like I said, that cost her around $400. Um, so that was gorgeous. And then we ended with my highlight girl. She had never gotten highlights from me. I always do her extensions. We took her extensions out. We did um, a partial highlight on her to kind of blend in some of the darkness she had going on. And then on Tuesday, 
on Tuesday we are doing Kate's Ephesians on her and I'm really excited for that too so let me know how I did on this whole vlog series it was a lot to take in I'm at Nebraska Furniture right now um about to just get some stuff done it's like 7 40 so it's been quite a crazy hectic day I didn't really get everything that I wanted in on this vlog but I still think it was like a pretty fun theme so if you liked my vlog videos and you want me to make more you know let me know in the comments like and subscribe and all that fun stuff good jazz and I will see y'all next time oh and follow me on um my social medias i'll link them down below because it's just so long to say and pronounce it's champagne hair studios but you get the gist so everything will be linked in the bio down below